we're working on the Val Raven construction project now, world's tallest, fastest, longest dive coaster. And this is the Immelman inversion. Right at the bottom of the dive, the 90 degree, 200 foot plus dive. And this Immelman inversion is the second tallest inversion on any coaster in the world. And the cool part is, the first tallest is on Gatekeeper right across the midway. Uh, but this is gonna be a great uh, visual for a guest watching the ride and an exciting experience for the guest on the ride as you finish the Immelman inversion. The Val Ravens build begins with pouring foundations for the station, brake area, and the track supports themselves. Once the footers are in place, you set the structural steel and the elements. Once the elements are in their precise location, you can continue on by grouting the base plates and locking them into place. The Val Ravens design has larger box beams than other coasters, which allows for fewer columns throughout the ride. In order for the ride to support itself, you have to build from the bottom of the drop element to the top of the drop element. Once that's in place, you can connect the drop element itself to the drop feature as well as the lift hill. With the lift hill installed, the construction races on in the direction of travel. Construction continues until the 84th and final piece of track is put into place. Even though the ride is a complete circuit and looks finished, construction is still not complete. Next, the lift chain is installed. The entire chain is approximately 700 feet long, but isn't delivered in one piece. The crew assembles links, greases it, and sends it up the lift chain trough via a crane. Once fully installed, tension is added to the chain by adding counterweights. It's very intense work. Uh, we're grateful for the construction crews out here building the ride and, and battling the elements. After six months of intense work throughout the winter, Val Raven has emerged, ready to dive, swoop, and delight guests from across the globe. <laughs>